Get on in here, everybody. I have a big, big cup of tea. It's got two bags in it. Yep. I'm enjoying my tea. Get on in here. I've had a cup of cafe mocha this afternoon, too. So, I am buzzing. Buzzing, I'm telling you. So get on in here. When we get a couple hundred people in here, I'll draw something out. I don't want people to miss what we're going to talk about. We didn't have a show yesterday because the girls were out playing, and we had such a good time. We went exploring. We went to a farmer's market, Leanne and I did. And then we were headed back up the mountain to her house and ran into Mark. So I just dumped Leanne off <laughs> on the road. She hopped in the car with the veggies and we forgot to put her 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 video stand that holds her camera in the car. So she had to do her video from her her computer today. So it was quite weird. Uh, well, it was it was still a good video. You listen to it, but it would get blurry and stuff cuz her computer's old like mine was. And you just do what you got to do. I'll get it to her before tomorrow's show and we will have fun. So if you haven't watched her video from earlier today, it was a good show. Our morning show was really good because we had some great questions. But this afternoon's a little different. We take a break. We settle down. We get our cup of something warm and wonderful. And we take a few minutes for ourselves. And I've been learning a lot from Scott Adams over the last year and a half that I've been watching his video. He's the reason I do two videos a day. Uh, he's, I look forward to his videos. Uh, you look forward to our videos. And it's good for us. It helps us to fulfill our mission. One of the things he talked about today or yesterday was learning something new every day. And I think I want to learn a language. So... I'm going to be, I didn't learn a language in high school. No language in high school. So I think I'm going to learn a language. And we'll see how that goes. I'll just do a couple of words a day and see if I can understand some, another language. I don't need to write it. I just want to understand it when I hear music in that language. Just anything like that. So have we got we got 165 people 174 get on in here i've got a teapot full of full of stuff you know part of our uh part of what we do here is i, I teach you to set yourself up for the next thing so n tomorrow i'll be drawing something out of uh-oh, I'm trying to knock off my little quilt square. I'll be drawing something out of my wise old owl. So I'm going to pull it up front so I know where we stand. <clears throat> so I have a topic. Don't know what language yet. Might be German because I like to, I like to listen to operas. And they're usually in German or Italian. One or the other. <laughs> now, one of the things that um, Leanne and I have been discussing when it comes to our water and drinking our water and stuff is she has a water filter. I don't know what it's called, but it's a beautiful stainless steel thing. But when she gets a glass out of it, she'll pour another glass of water in it or a, a quart pitcher in it. So that it's always working. You take, if you take a glass out, you put another glass in. If you pull a, a topic out of the teapot, you move the teapot and get ready for tomorrow. If you use the last roll of toilet paper, you put more toilet paper in the bathroom. Uh, I did that today. I was down to one roll in my little stand. So I filled it up. I had a chance. When you get to half a tank of gas in your car, fill it up and for those of you who in who are in florida you need to get filled up with gas and get your evacuation plan in place and be ready to go don't don't wait do not wait if you need to get out of florida then button up the house and go now our topic today 
This is so appropriate. Rome was not built in a day. You know, we wake up in the morning and we want to get organized. And we expect it to happen right then. We want it to happen right then. And you know what? It doesn't. And except that it's not going to. And that made my ears ring. Oh, I'm sorry. So let's drink to taking baby steps. Yes, baby steps will get there. A glass of water poured into your water filter will get you there. Rome was not built in a day. We, I didn't build, I didn't get organized in a month's time. It took 12 months of practicing one habit each month. Now, what's weird is I thought about this a while ago to talk about baby steps and but I didn't know why I was going to work it into our tea party. And there I drew it. <laughs> and I didn't even know it was in there. I didn't even know it was there. So when we take baby steps, where's my 31 baby steps book? Here it is. Baby steps. We wrote a book about it. My team helped me put this book together. And it's all about our baby steps. Getting your baby steps in order. And, and you don't have to do them all the same way. It's because one habit, establishing one habit, one habit will take care of a lot of stress in your life. It will. Planning your menus and getting dinner started at 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning or at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's going to change your life because you're not going to be so stressed out when you get home trying to cook a meal in an hour's time or 30 minutes time because your family's hungry. So let's drink to baby steps. And thank the Holy Spirit for figuring out a way for me to talk about it. I don't plan these things. Patty and I, we, we brainstormed 13 pages of topics. I cut them into little pieces. They wouldn't fit in one, one teapot. They wouldn't. So I, I put it into two different ones. So folks, let's take baby steps. We can take baby steps in everything we do. Yesterday was the first day I missed a tea party, our little tea party. First day I've missed it. And you know what? It didn't kill us. So we set out and we practice. Psychologists tell us that it takes 21 days, 21 days to establish a new habit. Some of them say seven. Well, they don't know what they're talking about because for perfectionists, Here's what we do. Here's what we do. When we miss a day, we throw the baby out with the bath water. We tell ourselves, oh, we can't do this because we missed a day. We've messed up already. But here's the good part. You don't have to throw the baby out with the bath water. All you have to do is jump back in as if you hadn't missed a day. So if we give ourselves 30 days, 30 days, a whole month to establish a habit, you got some grace period. With our calendar, we give you a 17 month calendar. You got five months to get the new calendar. If you have the 2019 calendar, you got five months to get this calendar. It's a beautiful grace period for you. But if you wanted to start with August, which is, is August now and this calendar is is ready to use. If you want it to start with August, you get it now and you just take your calendar down and get started. Put your calendar side by side and do one month. Transfer one month of important birth dates, anniversaries, 
a lot of people like to put on their calendars when they replace a dishwasher, garbage disposal, hot water heater, roof, you know, lots of different things. And that way it keeps you informed. You only have to look through a few months to see when it was. It's better than a digital calendar, I'm telling you. It really is. So here's to taking baby steps. Our first habit we practice is keeping our sink clean and shiny. When that is automatic pilot for you, you're, you're never going to mind going into your kitchen and getting ready to cook because your sink is empty. Your sink is shining. Right now, I've got my dishwasher going. Yeah, it didn't it wasn't a full dishwasher, but you know, the whole rack was full of full of uh cups and smoothie shaking jars and I have <laughs> Leanne said when to call the honey wagon. Yeah, that was on there too and we did that. This this year we hadn't done it in 5 years and it's on the calendar now that we did it in 2019. I think it was August the 18th. We did it. We got our septic tank pumped. Your septic tank needs to, if you have a family of four, it should be pumped every five years. And you know what the septic tank people said? They said, y'all do a good job of keeping your septic tank going with good stuff. And you didn't have too many of uh, the bum wipes in it. That can really mess up a septic tank if it gets too full because it won't allow the water to flow. It takes years and years for those to degrade so everybody let's take baby steps january is keeping your sink clean and shiny february is is decluttering 15 minutes a day getting the clutter out makes your routine so much easier to do march is getting dressed to lace up shoes every day you get that habit down pat your mornings run smooth. Ridex, Robert just put Ridex in our, our, our septic tank too. All of this just flows together. April is making your bed. Walking into your bedroom and seeing your bed made when you haven't made it in years, it's just going to change the whole feeling to that room. And if your children will just make their beds, you won't fuss at them for the room being messy because you'll see the made bed and you'll love it. May is moving just a little bit. Leanne and I are doing our flights every day. We're going up and down the stairs in our homes and we are getting, we're getting some movement in. I'm telling you, I'm feeling stronger and stronger every single day. June is drinking our water. I wrote a, I wrote a chapter this morning on hydration. Now, because we're, we are obsessive compulsive about things, we tend to drink. We drink, uh, not drink alcohol, but we, 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 we tell ourselves, well, we missed a cup. We'll get another, we'll drink two cups. You just, you can't do more than 12 ounces in a 30 minute period. So drink a six to eight ounce cup every hour. Every time you go to the bathroom, put some water in you. You're putting water out, out with the old, in with the new. Drink, drink a little water. And it's going to keep you hydrated. And when you're hydrated, when you're hydrated, you feel energized. You really do. You feel energized. So that's June hydration. July, swish and swipe our bathrooms. Just a simple one minute task in the morning, swishing and swiping our bathrooms, doing our toilet. All of this stuff, swishing our toilet, wiping down our mirrors, wiping down our counters, and putting our stuff away is going to keep your bathroom always company ready. And then once a month, we do a little more detailed cleaning. And on Weekly Home Blessing Day, we can mop the floor in there. And you know, if you use hairspray, you can throw your bath towel down and a little water and you, you can get that up. A purple rag actually does do a great job on hairspray. So, folks, you don't have to wait to the last minute to do everything. 
just keep plodding along one baby step after another we're going to fall down but we're going to, i'm going to pick you back up and say keep going keep going because you can make a difference in your home when you let go of your perfectionism take baby steps and quit being hateful to yourself because you missed a day so august habit has been we have been doing a load of laundry every day laundry is done and it's making a huge difference in our homes it really is because when the laundry's done you can get dressed in the morning without any problem hairspray on the walls one thing if you're going to paint your walls get the best paint you can buy for your budget and a lot of times you can find paint at Lowe's and Home Depot that has been mixed wrong and it's a great color and it'll be an eggshell finish which which cleans up really well but try a silver rag you don't want to try a purple rag on a white wall unless they're really old purple rags and we've been selling them for a long time next month's habit which starts on Sunday is our before bed routine there are three parts to our before bed routine it's think about tomorrow so look at your calendar look at the weather those of you who are in Florida look at the weather and see what people are telling you you need to do because there's a hurricane coming and it's his name is Dorian think about tomorrow then establish your launch pad do some simple things in the house to you know make sure your sink is shining establish your launch pad pick your clothes out for tomorrow that's part of thinking about tomorrow and then the last thing is do your before bed hygiene brush your teeth wash your face put your wonderful face lotion on thank you to my sister for my wonderful face lotion that she talked me into buying she said sister you got to try this stuff and I did and I love it and I got to buy more now I've got to buy more so folks establishing simple habits that was an, a piggyback thing that I did on my self I piggybacked putting this lotion on my face and my neck as part of my before bed routine so now here's how I check myself I have eyes I have ears nose mouth and and my face and that's how i check to see if i've done everything on my before bed routine i have to take medication that goes in my mouth i put on chapstick i have earplugs that have to go you don't know how many times i've gone to bed and forgotten my earplugs i have eye drops i have some little drops that i put in my nose that keeps everything hydrated and wow brush my teeth there's Rebecca, there's Fly Lady Rebecca. Everybody give show Rebecca some love. She's my girl. She's got my back, I'm telling you. I love Rebecca. Love all my team. So, folks, let's see. That was September's Habit is your before bed routine. And we'll talk about that more on Saturday when we're getting ready for Sunday, the new new thing to happen. Uh, October we're gonna we're gonna dissect our paper clutter we're gonna get rid of paper clutter you can start right now by clearing off a couple of hot spots November it's menu planning get a head start on that too Leanne's got a great sale that's not ending till the third she has a she has this thing called dinner answers it used to be menu menu mailer but you have the options to build your menus out of just about everything every type of menu plan you need whether it's heart healthy low carb vegetarian you name it it's there and it's 20 bucks off it's 77 dollars and i did the math on it leanne that's a dollar and 48 cents a week and she's gonna leave the sale up and you need to use coupon code back to school so folks get a head start on planning your menus because it's gonna save you money if you start planning your menus right now you're gonna have enough money to take care of your Christmas buying 
all your Christmas credit. You won't even have to put anything on the credit card. And then December, December is pampering. We do something every day to take care of ourselves. We get our hair. I got my hair did yesterday. And Leanne and I had a great time. We turned it into a whole afternoon of having fun. We did a video too, and it was funny. We were singing up a storm. Somebody said they wanted us to finish uh, Dream On. They wanted us to sing to Dream On. Well, guess what? Guess what? I didn't know the words to it, so I didn't sing, but we were singing fake words. Don't you just love that sort of thing? So folks, have some fun. Take baby steps. Rome wasn't built in a day. We can build upon these baby steps. This is the foundation to getting your home and home organized. This is the foundation. So let's drink to taking baby steps, building our foundation one habit at a time. And before you know it, you'll be on automatic pilot. Every, all day long, you're on automatic pilot. So drink up. One of the things you can do is when you know what you're cooking for dinner or not, pull something out of the freezer for tomorrow and you put it in your refrigerator, not out on the counter, in the, in the refrigerator. If you think it's going to get drippy, put it in a pie plate or put it in a plastic bag. But start thinking. What can I do today that's going to make tomorrow easier? Forgetting to pull something out of the freezer, it, it puts you behind the eight ball and you just give up and you order pizza. But we don't have to do that. We do not have to do that. And those of you who are talking about Christmas shopping, purple rags are going off on Monday and they're on a BOGO right now. So you buy one, put one set in your cart and we'll send you another set for free. So think about these things. And toward the end of September, the complete cleaning package, it's going to be off of, of a big sale too. You've been able to save $93 on that. It's right, it's just below $100 to get everything that we sell practically in the fly shop. It's one big complete cleaning system. But take the baby steps. Enjoy the process. The journey has to be fun, and if you're beating yourself up every day, it's not fun. So let's lift ourselves up by being kind to ourselves. On that New Year's Day that I made my Get Organized resolution, I also made another one, and that resolution was to be kind to me because I recognized how is being hateful to myself? So we've got to change the way we talk to ourselves. We've got to get rid of the negativity. And I know this, this tea time has run over, but this is the foundation of what we do. Baby steps are the foundation of our whole system. So drink up. Here's to taking those baby steps and changing our whole homes. Leanne and I are writing a book about baby steps of dealing with body clutter. Because we all have to learn how our bodies work. I'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock and it's Friday and you know what that means. That's my baby sister. I love you all. I will talk to you later. As, as my little quilt says, go in peace. Isn't that what all of us want? We want just a little bit of peace in our homes. Drink up. Bye.